What is going on, everybody? Jumbo Thick here. We are back with more Emberfell Whispers from the Stars. Uh, tonight, I will be your GM, your DM for the night, Jumbo Thick, joined by almost the full cast and crew. We will be missing our lovely Velrity. However, the show must go on. So, by now, surely you know who our uh, companions are. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and start the list last uh excuse me next leg of our adventure so um last we left off the crew of the white scale band had found themselves within the central hall of the palace of sin after having seemingly destroyed the lord of the castle only to have his patron emerge with a bargain in mind um one that was ultimately refuted and violence ensued. Um, however, the woman who sat upon the palaquin of bone, held aloft by beautifully sculpted undead soldiers, did show mercy upon the rest of the party. After they were systematically um, put into various portraits, and uh, one Zoon bard was coaxed into signing the book of the sculptor pledging his eternal um, services in not only this realm but the next and a deal ultimately struck between um, Lady Velry now Lady Sin as, uh, as well as um, allowing you to seemingly take both objects that you uh, were so sought after. One of them being the long-time uh, companion at this point uh, to the party, Nyarla, who was um, given to her by uh, some interesting individuals you already killed, and the trio of handmaids that Lady Velry um, has taken with her through thick and thin since the beginning of her uh, segue into our story. However, with the deal struck and the bargain made, it appears that the sculptor may have tweaked some of your um, uh, trophies from your experience. In particular, her handmaids seem to be tethered to a collar that was given to her that marks her as a champion of the sculptor. And in so doing, the handmaids, Zyme, and the rest appear to have been transformed into some kind of empiric entities bound for an eternal service to their lady sin. Um, you guys had managed to be transported from the Shadow Realm, the Shadow uh Shadow Fey, whatever, however many things we want to call it. Two, um, back to Drillora, in particular, the uh, the ship of Captain Marble. The where are you? Oh. I, I don't have it pulled up. I pulled up the wrong stuff. That's why. Ha. Ah. I'm going to guess the Crackstone. Uh, no. Oh. Crackstone, uh, no. The... It was something rose. I have to find it now. This is going to be upsetting to me. The hard rose. The gray rose. No. <laughs> Damn it, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's not pulling up for some reason. Oh, well. I'll deal with it later. Um, something gross. Yes, it is something gross. That, that's just its name now. It's something gross. Damn it. Why can I not find this? I had it written down right here, and it's gone. I blame myself for it. Nope. I'll just find it later. All right. So, with that out of the way, you're upon Captain Marvel's ship. The, uh, it is, for all intents and purposes, you guys are going to be leveling twice. So you will all be level 18 now. 
the first level for completing your journey through the uh, the shadow the uh, shadow fey shadow realm, and the second part of it for the deal that was struck with the sculptor herself, which may have empowered our party in some way. Um, I do have items for the party. Most of them go to Valerie, so she'll have to get them next time. Um, I do have one for Zune. Which I guess we'll get to in a little bit. It's a diaphragm. We don't need to have it. You want to go ahead and Mm -hmm. do those updates to our character now? Yeah, go ahead. You guys can go ahead and start updating your sheet if you'd like to. Yeah, you can level up to 18. Um, We will be doing Endeavors. So that's what the this this first bit is gonna be. If you remember, everybody gets two like mechanical endeavors, one story, one. So um, let's start we're off. Talking with about someone... that, talking about that deal. It's, it's like, are we bringing dark deals into this side of the side nah, of the deal? Yeah, eh, maybe, quite, maybe you never know. Same. Yeah. Not, not quite yeah. the same. But let's start off with um, the Rogar. All right. Um, all right. As far as the endeavors for Rogar that he's been working on, um, I believe it was. What's that called? Ah, yes. Um, resilient. That's what I was working on. Resilient for charisma, I believe. Okay. <clears throat> Do you have uh, any failures since your previous success? Oh, yeah. I've had a bunch of failures. Okay. I've got four failures, I believe. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah. I've been working on resilient. Uh, as my like upgrade yeah. endeavor, um, <clears throat> but yeah. So I believe I roll charisma saving throw. Is that right, or charisma roll? Because you're are, you're trying to go for the charisma version. Mm-hmm. So it's just a charisma check. Check your uh, your DC is fifteen. So I need a thirteen. All right, for me. Yes. Oof, 15, 15 right on the money. <laughs> They're all 13. Um, was that your last one? That was my last success that I needed, yeah. There you go. Rogar. Well, I mean, what does this look like, Rogar? How, how does one become proficient in charisma saving throws, since apparently that's what we're doing here? Hey, you know, I'm already proficient in dexterity thing, but no, I'm resistant to resilient dexterity, so. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, I guess, you know, he just, you know, spends a lot of time, you know, trying to uh, polish his, his speech craft and such. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, he's been trying for fuck forever, you know, months upon months, you know. It's been that years. long. I don't believe it. Uh, I mean, it's been, it's been a long time. I mean, it really has. Because mm. I haven't got I haven't gotten one besides the dexterity. Mm. So, um, yeah. I mean, I'm assuming he reads a lot, stuff like that. You know, um, um, combing through you know all sorts of different kind of books and such wherever he gets a chance. Um, but yeah. Um, he's an intimidating guy too, you know. That's true. Maybe doing some some speeches. Maybe, maybe you take some tutorship from Zoom. They have proficiency in those anyway. I don't know if Zoom would even want to, you know. Maybe Zoom berates you every now and again. I mean, yes. And just like take uh, it Zoom in. Zoom berates me. Yes, yes. <laughs> that sounds probably a little bit more accurate, you know. <laughs> a little um, more, more friendly. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, but well, yeah. that's only one. You have you okay. have another. And this one is the um, uh, now. Um, I will story one. I will just preface this with mm-hmm. um, this might be the last time you guys do endeavors. Mm-hmm. 
But is it the story one? Or no, that was you, that, you still have, you still have another another mechanical one if you'd like. Uh, well, and we have to get how many successes? You have to have three successes to um to gain a uh, a um, and a feat. A feat, yes. Well, well, I don't think you, you only need three one to gain a skill proficiency. Hmm. Skill proficiency. Any of them. Any skill. It could be an instrument. It could be artist uh-huh. tools. You know, any anything within reason. You know, I'm already I was proficient in alchemist tools. You know. Of course. Yes. Uh, that, yes. And we see how much. And the you horn. Know, you, we see how much you've you've put that uh, to use. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've tried. You know, I've collected a lot of things. You know, uh, I got I got you know strange toes and stuff. Would you like to pref- try to do some alchemy instead? For one of your yeah, endeavors? Uh, let's do some alchemy. Let's, let's do, some, do alchemy. some alchemy. Yeah, yeah. Let's do some um, alchemy. Go ahead and give me an alchemy roll then. Um, alchemy. It'll be with trade tools, so I think it works off of dex. Well, I'll let you pick either dex or intelligence. Ooh. Uh, intelligence. It's better okay. for me. So roll intelligence check and then add your proficiency to it. Okay. Six. All right. How high, depending on how high you roll, will depend on what you are capable of producing. Twenty-two. Uh, be, yeah, plus um, six. Plus, so be plus, plus six. Twenty-eight. Oh my god. Woo. Mm-hmm. Woo. That's okay. All right. It's pretty good, you know. It's pretty good. <laughs> um. Okay then. Let me uh, let, let me see what I can what I can find for you. All right, all right. Um, we're at Port Arona, though. We warped to his we, ship, and it was at. We Port are Arona. yes. It was it was more anchored at Port Arona. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Rogar, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you a choice here. All right. You can either allow me. To craft you a legendary potion of some kind for the next session. Okay. Okay. It's oh. very appealing. You can give yourself ten superior healing potions. Ten superior. Superior is purple, right? Yes. Purple. They're like the top healing potions you can get. Yeah. That's some pretty good ones. Ten of them, huh? Mm-hmm. I will I'll roll the dice on the legendary one. You know, I gotta roll. Ah, dice. okay, so, okay. You know. okay. All right, I'll uh, I'll I'll come up with something for okay. next sesh for a legendary potion for the rogue guard. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as the story is concerned, is there anything you'd like to interact with? Uh you know, I, looking at the map, mm-hmm. I know that Fort Dorona. I've talked to Trist a little bit about it already. Uh, um, I don't know if it's a good thing or not. I am nervous about it, but I okay. would like to try to communicate with the uh, the the sisters. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, you know, I guys, lost my. I, you guys massacred. Yes, we killed. Yes, we, we we did happen to have a misunderstanding of some sort, and mm-hmm. perhaps killed their safe house uh, here in Point Arona. At least one of them. Um, and uh, yep, uh, I did. You know, lose my my. Uh, uh, the stone, the stone, the communication yeah. stone. Yeah, but um, so um, I believe her name was Lady Inya. I believe. Yes. Um, um, I believe. Um, I would like to try to get in contact with her. Uh, I know we're, our long rest usually takes a month or so. Yes. Yes, um, indeed. If not, I, I was going to try to 
convince the party to uh, journey to the, the their little citadel and try to have a, uh, a uh, discussion. Yeah. Do, is taking um, a uh, a trip. Yes. To the Tower of Brass. Tower of Brass. Yes, exactly. Uh, you know, I know I'm, I'm nervous about it. You know, I, you know? Uh, but. They're the only people that Rover has had a communication with that he knows have, like, uh, they are a powerful force here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They seem to know a fair amount of, like, uh, what's happening outside of, like, uh, this plane in existence. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. They have interests, apparently, in the... Um, the... Uh, the standard of this world, or the uh, uh, the regular uh, daily life of this world, being as it is instead of changing. Um, so that's who he knows, you know. Um, so yeah. Okay. How does just... curveball? You know. All right. Um, just came to me. You are on the Elusive Rose. The Elusive Rose, okay. Yes, I finally remembered the name. Um, as far I remember as... remember the Dragon's Horde. But I Did you say that. Elusive? Elusive, yes. As in, um, it literally eluded you. The yes, it did. There's that yeah. as well. Uh, yeah, so the Tower of Brass know. is marked on the map, but technically mm. it is unknown to anybody. Mm. It was marked on the okay. map because Zoltkar was in the party and he knew where it was, but he is long He since sounds like a really cool guy. Passed from, yes, our, uh, from our party. So um, that would be a very unknown location. Now you, could ask, you could ask around and see if you could maybe come in contact with somebody, though. Doesn't Trish have to speak with dead? Couldn't I go to the graveyard where uh, Zoltkar's body is and uh, be like... You know, Baldur's Gate three style, and so I will on. say, oh my god, that would be so cool. Rogar would remember that Zoltkar was never interred because his body. Oh yeah, that's went, right. He was, that's right. He was possessed. It went bye bye and that's is right. gone and is an NPC uh, that exists in this world. <laughs> so, that's true. That's true. I forgot about that. Oh, you guys almost saw him in the Shadow Realm. He got close. Oh, that would have been baller. Um, well, yeah, then I would try to, my goal would be try to communicate, you know, in some way, Okay. you know, why don't, um, we'll leave this one up to chance to see if you do manage to get any kind of firm communication. Okay. So let's go ahead and why don't you give me a persuasion roll? Okay. The DC is going to be relatively high. Okay. 25? 20, well, shit. Uh, 25 is going to do it. What is happening right now? You never roll this well. Rogar and I don't. <laughs> we usually roll poorly. But Rogar, Rogar, Damn it, man. Rogar is charismatic. I just don't roll very often. Oh, my Second gosh. Second charismatic person in the, in, the, in, the, in the group, you know? Okay. All right. Well, with the 25, Rogar... He is incredibly handsome. Not you spend all. some time going back exactly. onto shore. You guys are very welcome in Port Torona now. Um, enough time has passed that any crimes and all. And between that and all of the things that have, that are happening in the world, you're not on yeah. anybody's radar anymore. Especially sure. with the destruction of the Mar, um, it has been. There's there might be frag pockets of individuals, but for all intents and purposes, they've been driven out. Yeah. And you. Or you have pretty free reign to walk around Port Rona. In particular, you know, you, you take a gander at First Story Scrolls. Um, First Story it, Scrolls. It is um, no longer uh, open. It's mm-hmm. It has been shuttered. It appears that there was some kind of explosion within. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Uh, the proprietor perished. And there's been no one to claim his, uh, claim his building as of yet. He's a shifty bastard. Well... Regardless, though, Rogar, you begin to kind of ask around, mm-hmm. asking about patrons that visited the uh, the, the, the um, establishment. Mm-hmm. And while you're in the central market area, Fort Rona, you do 
come into contact with an individual. Um, it appears to be a uh, a guard, a white shroud guard. Mm-hmm. It kind of like approaches you and um, motions for you to follow them, kind of off okay. the street. So I'm assuming you do. Yes, yes. The man leads you off to the street and then um, checks to make sure there's no one around, then looks back at you. What is it you wish to speak about? I wish to speak of the security of this realm. Well, as you can see, as he motions upwards towards the sky, where all of you will have noticed um, over this month or so, that where once there was a ring around Drelora, there is now a steadily growing orb in the sky. What people, what scholars are referring to as a moon is forming. Where there was not. Mm-hmm. Love crack records. Mm. And he says intellectually distinct, thank you very much. It's just as, <laughs> as he and then as he says, um You have done your fair part, did you not? You hampered our Containment. I have also helped support your goals, whether you are knowledgeable of it or not. You and your band may have free reign for now, but it's only because we have bigger fish to fry. Your time will come. My concern is for those fish, as you say, as well. If you want to really help this realm, you'll stay out of our way. I am letting you know that we are will, that we will be involved. I am hoping that we can collaborate we do not collaborate with heretics you are letting a asset leave you if you let me and my friends go you were never ours to begin with very well I have said my piece. I do not intend to force you, as of yet, to aid me. I will return, though. The guard stares at you, Rogar. You see his hand gripping something at his waist that you that is not visible um <clears throat> well you know i do have a, a, a um, special sense you but you know. do a blind sense but blind sense i know i'm just saying you know if he, if he's, if he's trying to cut me or something you know you cannot like, Whoa, see bro, you know? invisible items rogar well, I'm just saying he's swinging something at me, you know? Not yet. It looks like he... He... is clutching something on his waist. Mm-hmm. I do not intend to harm you. Go ahead and give me an intimidation check, Rogar. Okay. okay. <laughs> to avoid bloodshed. 23. 23. It's okay. For her. You watch as 
the grip tightens on whatever it is that she is holding. You know mm -hmm. that this is more than likely a priestess, mm -hmm. a I assumed. disciple. Disguise. In, in disguise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He watches you kind of just flex a little bit, your, your sheer mm -hmm. draconic presence overwhelming her. Mm -hmm. You watch as her hand slackens and she begins to slowly back away from you. I gave you a chance. And I'm going to turn and walk away. Um, turn and walk away? Yes. As you walk away, Rogar, you mentally prepare yourself for the inevitable stab in the back, but it of does course, not come. Of course. Whew. Whew. Close. As you have intimidated the paladin, Elysia. <laughs> I tried, you know, I, I tried my best, you know. Uh, yeah. They have a very strict, they, they have a very strict doctrine. I, I, I thought so, but I thought I might yeah. be able to and convince they don't. them there's a greater threat, you know. Yeah, they also don't like men, so that's... That's true. I knew yeah. that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there we go. All right. With Rogar down, let's slide on over to Zune. So it's been a while since we've done this. It is. Um, it is. To what am I allowed? It has to be two ability checks plus an endeavor. I. Well, so so, um, do you have like a record of what you were trying to I grab? Do. Um, okay. I was trying to get the resilient feat. Okay. Do you remember which? I have it. You want me? It looks like I had one pass. I don't know if I collected any of my fails, so I'm fine with starting over from scratch. Though it's not a big deal. Okay. So you need two successes. A crit is worth two. Otherwise, you're going to have to spend both of your endeavors to try to grab this, potentially. Um, the current. The current DC is uh, 15. Okay. So. If you don't have any fails. Do you remember fail. what skill you were rolling? Um, no, I do not. I think I was just rolling a flat D20 the whole time. Well, what, what uh, resilient were you trying to grab? I have a constitution. Constitution, so this would be a con check. Okay, so um, three plus whatever is still gonna yeah, fail. That, that's that's not gonna that's not gonna do it. Um, this is probably our last time doing endeavors, so you can either use your next one to roll the dice. Maybe you'll get a critical. It's possible, or you can try yeah. to like grab another skill or something like that. Let's go ahead and. I don't think any of these. Eh, we have perception. I think I can go ahead and do. Ah, eh, nah. I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm probably not gonna get it, but okay. I'm proficient. It's, it's, in a lot it's of worth. Things. It's worth a shot. Yeah, you get you get half proficiency in most and pretty much everything. Oh, not one. I did. I don't. I'm not resilient. <laughs> no. Unfortunately, Zoom, problems. you spend you spend a lot of time. It's probably um, so thinking, hard thinking about like how you're going to try to, you know, bolster your constitution. Unfortunately, Zoom is a creature of many habits and perhaps he falls into his old habits the distraction, of you know, like getting distracted the Marvel, on the ship. The... Yeah. You know, there's, there's other things out about. And so you just, just it gets, it gets a little, little, little distracted in his time off. Okay. Try not to contemplate the horror that is probably ensuing. Um, you now you do get a story element of some kind if you'd like to interact with anything. Now is your chance. I would like to interact with Triss. Oh, okay. Um. So, Triss, I owe you a lot at this point, and I am willing to pay that in full right now. So I do need one additional favor from you after I do this. 
Do you agree to my terms? Sit there, my blindness. <laughs> he doesn't have eyes, it's true. Wow. I guess I don't have much of a choice. Oh, a guy who can fix that now, just fix. saying. Oh, nice. Well, okay. Um, I appreciate that you trusted me, or didn't trust me, but you know, uh, took care of my deformity, et cetera, et cetera. Let's not get into it, don't get emotional. This is against my better judgment. And I am going to cast True Resurrection and bring back Wuyan Lar. So. Is that possible? Yeah, as long as her soul is there and willing, it, it will materialize her bottle, her whole body back. Um, there is a substantial cost to this Zoom. Monetary cost. Yeah. We got a bag of ember. Oh shit. You're right. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. It's 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 a lot. It's twenty five thousand gold pieces. We I didn't have a lot of we have a lot of ember. You'd have to you guys have to have to see how much you have. It's possible. How much ember do we have? Well that's the the, the ex checker is away from the desk at the moment. Yes, yes. Right now he is. Uh, <laughs> How much oh, ember do we have, Rogar? <laughs> a holding bag full. With a memento. With, uh, yeah, I, I, I was gonna try and give Chris the eyes back. Too. But you know, we established early on in this campaign that where we were going, we would need eyes. That's exactly. What do you need those for? Deep lore. That's a. That's that's the way back. Machine. Dane, Dane right it is. <laughs> Oh, the good. The good from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. Is this some is this some kind of cruel joke though that you're gonna bring her back to life but he can't see her? That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? <laughs> bring her back, she's a zombie. <laughs> oh god. That, there you go. That's a that's a story element in a game that's popular. When did we receive the Ember? Oh, God. Oh, like now, oh, there might be a slight hiccup here. Uh oh. You have to touch the creature. No, it no, says. No, as long as their skull isn't, isn't banished to hell, you can bring them back. True resurrection? Spell, true resurrection. It, it is true resurrection. The spell can even provide a new body if the original no longer exists, as in which case soul. you must speak the creature's name. As long as their soul's not trapped in hell. As long it's, as it's soul wicked is broken. Yeah, right, that, and that, that's why it costs 25,000 gold pieces. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, you got to mean it. It does. Yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah, the last line. Yep. Okay. It's it's wicked sick. All right. Yeah, at first I was like, eh, I don't have a piece of her body. And then I was like, oh. Yeah, well, no, yeah. I, I got to that part when I was reading about it. I was like, whoa, that is, I mean, 18th level is close to God tier. It's Yeah, I was like. We're, we're not invulnerable at this point. We'll see. Oh no! What are you about to work with, Anthony? To resurrection. Um, this is going to take a heavy toll, for sure. Uh, do you guys have the funds? Have you determined? Do, do you know where we received them? The ember. I don't. Well, you you picked it up in the um, Moor Fortress mm -hmm. after you butchered everybody. You found it there. Oh, okay. That's not fair. Yeah, it wasn't that. It wasn't that long ago. You guys had most of your belongings stripped from you, and this is some one of the few things you were managed to uh, grab. Okay. One second. I hope we're able to do it. Got about that part where we were, you know, Tortured. unencumbered, unencumbered <laughs> yes. of, of everything, including you forgot about our consciousness torture? and life. Yeah. Got it. Uh, some trauma has an effect like that. I'm glad that, you know, the torture really stuck with you, Dan. It, I mean, <laughs> it, it, it traumatized. Traumatized. <laughs> yeah, that's some horrific stuff you put us through. Thanks. Well, while we're doing the math, though, yes. here's the thing I need from you, Trist. Here's what hmm. I don't know how much longer I will be on this plane of existence, given recent 
circumstances mm -hmm. and it's given me a lot to think about and awkward question did you ever have to pay Wu for sex or did she just freely give it and I don't need details please don't give details just I like to imagine at first it was paid and then it became free like you I, imagine I that or good. you paid for that okay. sounds good but, I'm, I'm all okay. about it all right well, in that case, since it looks like I will be with a goddess and not a duh, can you give me like some we lucky tips, some advice on women? As far as in, oh, sorry. As far as Ember's concerned, we had um, 5,000 originally, but we used 200 of it, so we're currently at 4,800. All right. Oh, so we're, we're not speaking. as rich as we thought we were. I don't no. know how much Ember that Sucks. accounts for as far as like what's its value, but that's how much I have written down. 4,800 yeah. Ember. Oh, yeah. 4,800 Ember. Okay. The, so how the, much yeah. The, is, yeah. yeah. The raw Ember is like a one for one for spell components. Mm. Oh, damn. Mm. We However, we, we need a little more money. If this is your true desire, Zim. Yeah. I mean, you um, trist a lot at this point. Give me a persuasion check. Oh, okay. Please. No shitty rolls. Give yourself a dan or uh, inspiration. Can you use bard against spell on it? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. I don't think Do you're you going to need it with a 29. <laughs> okay. Make well, it a 41. So, Zoom, you're, you're kind of just... Yeah, yeah. At one point in time, you know, you've just slathered marble. He's just... He's wore out. <laughs> and you're sitting there, and you're kind of sitting up, and you're, like, trying to... You're trying to figure out how you're going to work out this this deal with Trist. And you start talking about money, and how you, most of yours are lost, and you... Marble kind of rolls over and says, well, You know, I've got a pretty sizable cash here. This This is your... Technically, we are under your trade. This already is. Oh. So, well, the spoils are not only of the flesh. Wait, did oh. we inherit the mark? You inherited. You inherited uh, a sizable amount Hi. of coin from the elusive rose. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to make that knowledge worth his while later. All of a sudden, um, we begin to walk with a little more swagger, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, then yay! Thank you, DM, for letting there be one happy ending, so help me God if she comes back and kills Tristan. Oh. <sighs> yay! So, going to try to bring her back. Where are you going to do this? Uh, I'm going to ask Marble if I can borrow his room because i'm sure she's going to be naked if she does come back mm -hmm. what are you about to send to me anthony we'll see so zoom you it takes an hour to prepare this um what I, what does this look like zoom how do you prepare the scene mm. well um i will of course get some clothing for her first probably something more or less what she would appreciate wearing Okay. Um, I will ask Rogar and Trist and Resire and everyone to be in there because I haven't done this before. And if it backfires, I want other targets than squishy me. Maybe Trist should sit outside. I don't know. Um, that's kind of it. Just don't want to be alone. Want to have clothes ready for her. I'm not sure how else I can prepare for it. Okay. You set up the um, the large amount of coin, and I, did you take this as one of your spells? Yes. Through resurrection. Okay. I also have it. So Rosario would be helping to prepare the space, huh? Okay. So That's between right. the two of you, you take all of this and kind of gather together, and um draw almost kind of like a summoning circle uh, at the foot of the bed in the much much of the open space in the captain's quarters as you can and then 
the song of resurrection begins from Zoom. And as each verse transpires, you begin to see a shape begin to form in the within the circle space. Um, is Trist present? Trist is present. Trist is present. So everyone. If is he present. wants to be, he doesn't have to be. If if you don't want to be Trist. And what do you think? Oh, Trist? he disappeared. He's gone. I guess he doesn't want to be present. He left. Oh, he he's. Left. You know, he's I'm out. He, he walked off screen. He walked off, screen, he walked off funny. That's a no. Yeah, right. I, mean, I, mean, I, would probably, I would probably have to be in there in case, you know, some like chaos bond came in sure. instead. It's true. It's true. It's true. So, soon begins to pull forth his long lost sister. One that was decapitated. Its body disposed of, its head taken. Trist's one true love, or at least he believes. After almost an hour of this song beginning to ramble and ramble, Rosire, you're probably getting a little tired yourself, trying to aid as much as you can. A body is eventually formed. It looks strange. And then as the song finishes, in an instant, there's a flash. All of you with eyes are blinded momentarily. And then Lane, on the floor, naked. Soon sister, in all her glory, she appears to be sleeping. I'm going to ask for Rogar's help moving her to the bed, which has clean sheets. About that forehead. Yeah, well, it's clean. Sit in squalor. And um, yeah, going to cover her up. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Tristan and I can have a talk later about how to have sex with women. Because I got a goddess to please for many, many centuries and millennia at this point. And I am not going to fall out of favor. I am going to be the best damn lover she's ever had. Mm -hmm. Well, Trist? Brother, you know, pat him really hard on the back. Mm -hmm. And did I'm going to leave him alone with her. Did it, did it work? Your guess is as good as mine, Trist. Um, oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Uh, her body is here. She seems to be asleep. I hope it worked. And if it did not, um, it's going to be awkward. It's going to be real awkward. I hope her mind is there too. I didn't think that far ahead. Maybe someone should have brought that up before I went through all this. I'm going to go take a nap somewhere else. Um, would you like some time alone with her, Trist? In a platonic way, don't be a creep. No, I will. I will come back later. Okay. Then I guess I will stay in here with her because I don't know what she's capable of at this point. So you're going to stay in the in the room, Trist? Uh, Dis- Zoom? At a distance. Okay. Mask Rogar and or Resire to stay in there with me. Probably Resire since he's also seems to right. seems to be this sort of area. If she's undead, I got you covered, huh? She can't technically be undead. This stuff doesn't work that way, but you never know, huh? You never know. This guy this guy over here, this DM guy is pretty crazy. We're yeah, gonna have that. um Resire and Rogar are going to give me constitution saving throws. Fantastic. Constitution save. Pretty good from Rogar. Yeah. Pretty good for Resire. You managed to stay awake the entire night and into the next day. There appears to be no movement from Wu. Is she breathing? No. Oh. She is. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
can I grade a restoration at a higher level? We talked about that before. Okay. It would have to be a spell casting, a spell, a roll, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, let's see here. What do you as want you to get, cast? As you get close to her, Zoom. Mm, yeah. You get close to her. I eat my face. You're kind of like looking her over. You hear like whispering noises coming from her. I try to create a restoration her mind. You kind of lean down. No, do I really? You hear her voice. Who's in the room with us? Oh, like she's talking to me. Got it. Um, it's safe, Wu. I've never played tricks with you. Can I roll a persuasion? I need you to roll a make a dexterity saving throw soon. That's fine. Doop 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 do. Damn, thirty. A thirty, as <laughs> uh, as soon as you say that, she shouts. You will take me again, demon! As she slices a blade towards you. Um, that... Spin back. Yeah. You easily dodge to the side. It slices through the air harmlessly. She appears to be weak, even. He says... You will take me again? I will not bear you any more children! As she flashes her dagger towards the rest of you. Mm. Uh, I was about to say, I assume... Rogar and Rezire move up to restrain her? No, no, I'm gonna, like, hand up and just sort of, like, step out of her reach. So I don't think grabbing her and holding her down is what the situation calls for. She looks uh, crazed. Madame, I assure you there are no demons here, huh? You have, you've come back from quite a journey, young lady. Perhaps you it's just lies. need some rest. No, it's, it's all your lies. Brother, no, your brothers, no, they have they have strove to resurrect you, huh? Huh? For your love, huh? Trist, he's here too, huh? This Come on real. now, huh? This isn't real. real. No, and I she will. takes the knife huh? oh, and no. she is going don't to dare. stab don't herself. Don't, 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 don't you dare. I will she be really straight like, ah! <laughs> no. Rogar, Rogar no. and Rosario jump and like restrain her. Like, ah! She's unhand me. She's flailing around. The two of them are plenty strong, holding her down. I take back these trust. Oh my gosh. She Shit. struggles oh, no. with all her might with, through like it's it's feeble um, in comparison to the two of you, but uh, she appears to have been through a great ordeal in her time away. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I mean, one might say the the very pet cemetery. not nice goddess that she served may reside in the abyss where she got Ooh. to spend the past who knows how long. <laughs> so Ooh. yes, Lock time is not relative. a uh, kindly not, on a not, very, not a uh, not a not a very pleasant place to be. So there you go. metaphysical torture dimensions have no sense of time. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Oh bless. We'll get her fixed up. Don't you worry. Get her fixed up. Yeah. <laughs> like no. she's we've, a car. We've done. We've done. We'll just, she'll be fine. Take some time. Little, little, yes, little soul on. here. Fine. Little empathy there. So, For now, she Maybe. has to be restrained. Huh? Um, at all times, and someone mm-hmm. has to feed her. All right, I think I will do that because that well, does not I seem will, like a kind I'll, thing to do to Trace. I will say, uh-huh. I will say, Lady Velry does have three handmaids that do this. Actually, it's fantastic. Actually, yeah, and they don't have to sleep. <laughs> Tristan will do it. 
Oh, Trist is gonna do it. Not, not, He's blind. You know, not vampire spawns. Okay, Trist. Trist, you are going to take care of your lady. What What do you refer to her as, Trist? Do you start calling her Wu, or do you go? Yeah, by I mean, her... I'll just call her Wu. Okay. You know? All right. Well, you Things have changed. Wu, then. Things have changed. You know, we're not going by stage names anymore. Mistress, you know. Yeah, mistress, exactly. <coughs> mistress Wu, maybe. Mistress Wu. Nah, it's just Wu. Okay. Uh, Trist is going to be in charge of taking care of Wu, as uh, trying to trying to somewhat comfort her as she thinks this is a long con, and it's going to be swept. The rug is going to be swept out from under her at any moment. Oh, I see. Because perhaps she's lived out this exact scenario. That's a good times. possibility. We're going to be fighting. <laughs> oh, yeah. I appreciate that no good deed goes unpunished. Yeah. Thank you, Anthony. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, the, the, the goddess over the torture dimension, having no sense of time, could see the future where we do this. Like, ah, or just this thought this would be a pleasant way to torture someone. Look, think, make them think that they've gotten away. And the, yeah. the thing. No, I, I, I could see that. That's clever. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so uh, let's move over to Resire then. Oh, hello. You know, with that out of the way, uh, Endeavors Resire. Um, was I? I don't remember if I was working on one. I would, but I could I, not tell you, man. It's been a long but, time. But what I'm gonna work on is tough. Okay. I want to try to do tough as my endeavor and see if I can snag that. I think you did get... try this. See, that's what I thought. I think I had one success. You had one time. success. Yeah, okay. you did. You had at least yeah. one. So go that's ahead. That's what roll. I thought because that, that feels like how that feels like something I would do. Right, DC's okay. fifteen. Constitution okay. check. Con check. Mm-hmm. All right. Con check coming up. Oh, that's a ten. Oh, so I get to try ten. again, though, right? You can try now. This is now. This is your choice. You need yeah. three successes. You have one. Uh huh. You would need a crit here. You would need a twenty, okay, on the dice to uh, to get both. Or if you want to, you can um, try to learn like a different skill uh, proficiency if you'd like. Let's see here. Because you only need one success for uh, learning any skill. Right. Let's yes. see if I've got something that would be. Which can it can be anything? It can be language. It could be instruments. It doesn't have to be just the ones on the skill sheet. You know, uh, just just for just for the heck of it, because here we are uh, mm -hmm. having some fun, um, having done so remarkably well uh, in the okay. karaoke battle. Yes, you know? yes, yeah, indeed. I, I could take mm -hmm. I could take up a musical instrument. You can. Oh yeah. yeah, I think that'd be great. I think, yeah. Uh, uh, which instrument do you want to? Uh, perhaps on, the, perhaps the lyre. Would... Okay. All right. Yeah. Sure. That's nice, nice lyre. Um, give me a dexterity check. Dexterity. And I, check. I will, I will give you advantage because of your past All experience. Right. All right. Let's do a little advantage. So DC is only a ten for these. Right, you got a, a twenty. 20. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so uh, shredding. You, Recall Maybe. some of your old, some of your your old experience for Zyre. A little help of Zoom from Zoom. Zoom is proficient oh, in pretty much all this as well. Of course. And you you pick up the lyre. You know the you, you're proficient in, uh, in in rock now for Zyre. Uh, da, 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 I love da, that's right. So much fun. So yeah, you uh, can add that to your sheet if you'd like. Heck yeah. Now as far in, as story elements. Yes. Any any story elements you want to interact with, anything you want to attempt to do, this might be your last chance before we get into the Definitely need to visit the temple. Okay. I must check in with her lady. Alright. Uh, your and, uh, so your your specific temple is in a different city, Resire. There is um, a temple here. Um or a, or a holy place of uh, there there'd be like not necessarily. So essentially your goddess in particular, um, she has her her central temple, where you have like a basically where the tournament's held right. and whatnot. Uh, the uh, the um, temple of blades. People like you are just kind of sent out into the world as recruiters, just kind of and so pretty much so anywhere branch libraries anywhere that people are 
sharpening their martial combat skills would be considered a holy place for for the Oracle of Blades. Not not like a not like a a battle, but like yeah, dojo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So any place uh, like that would be considered a holy place for her. But I want to find a way to get in touch. Just okay. As, now, as a, you know. Yeah, you have full access such. to Port Rona, and you guys yeah. left on pretty damn good terms with the White Shrouds. Even your stuff um, with the uh, with um, Moog's hometown, which I'm blanking on right now, Brunwood on Brunwood. So uh, you actually get you're actually able to enter into the castle grounds and you're able to train with the uh with the actual um like guard essentially yes, the, like the, the troops challenge them some of them for a slot in the tournament the um, individual their in question is it how it did it is not it is not paladin how dare you um <laughs> he's my he's my hero it is actually, I need to pull him up. He was under the clans. It is actually Captain Gluzig, which if you remember, he was a very formidable bugbear, a uh, captain of the guard that aided you guys in your previous adventure. Mm -hmm. And he's been somewhat promoted in rank and he kind of manages um, all of the day-to-day uh, runnings of the castle and watching over the actual um, uh, gates and whatnot into the city. And you are invited. You, you basically you work your way through the the normal rabble, and they are. It's almost like um, playing with toddlers. It's 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 nothing for a man of your skill and experience resides. Um, Glasic though offers a challenge. Um, not quite good enough challenge though for Sire, as you're able to defeat him fairly soundly as you are now at this point in time a formidable combatant um, however he does make a decent showing enough of himself that you you think that he, you might have found a possible recruit fantastic huh? my lady will be pleased to uh, welcome you Oh, into the temple. Oh, I'll need to. I'll definitely need to brush up on my skills if they're all like you. Oh, I may be the best, uh, but uh, you know it would be a challenge for anyone. But I am here for a while. Huh? We can uh, we can spar. Huh? I'll give you some pointers. Uh, I'll give you a little inside baseball, huh, as they say. Huh? Good. Whatever baseball is. Yes, exactly. <laughs> He's kind of grunts uh, and fair waits, fight. Uh, Good job. Awaits your next uh, challenge, Resire. You've made a stalwart companion. Heck yeah. Thank you, sir. And last but not least, Tristan Burrell. Me. Uh, Tristan's in a state of uh, a little bit of depression. He's taken a couple L's in a row. Lost his eyes. And whatever this last adventure happened. Uh, so he would be um, trying to gain proficiency in religion. The skill. Okay. All right. Um, go ahead and give me a intelligence check because that is actually intelligence based. Yes. Strangely enough. <laughs> you think it'd be wisdom, but it's not. It's intelligence for some reason. Oh, it's a 12. I that's don't, I don't the, get the 29s and the 30s. That's good, though. Uh, you only need a 10 for skills. So you are able to verse yourself well enough in the normal religious day-to-day. -day. Um, looking over most of the, the current gods of the Pantheon and possibly even looking into those that came before. And you have proficiency in religion. Um, for the other one, things have changed. And he would basically be spending a lot of time in that bedroom. Uh, Doing what? Re <laughs> recapping, uh, you know, Tris, Tris's story to Wu, things that have happened since she has disappeared. Mm -hmm. uh, 
whether or not she's listening, you know, what happened with Zoon in the house, the plans to rescue her from Cyberpunk Trist. Cyberpunk Trist, yes. Uh, and the losing of the eyes being melted out of his face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, up to now. Okay. Um, that would definitely be your, uh, your more story element one, Trist, for yes. sure. Yes. Um, why don't you give me a persuasion check? What's going on? Oh, it's a natural 20! A 21. It takes, it takes time, Trist, like over a month or so. Oh, yeah. talking, you're talking to her and one day you know you come and you do this every single day mm-hmm. every day she is silent most of the time not trying to engage with you this last day something changes as you are moving to feed her you feel her cheek brush your hand. She says, What happened to your eyes? A very uh, kind man uh, grabbed my face and decided to uh, rid them for me. Does it hurt? Not anymore. Why did you bring me back? I did not feel like it was, uh... One, it wasn't right. What happened to you? And two, I didn't know what else to do. This is real. It is. She just begins to cry, Trist. You awkwardly stand there, put a hand on her. I'll have my hand on her. I'll rub the arm. Yes. And she, she whispers in your ear, Take these shackles off. Break these chains! That's what she says, Trist. What do you do? I, I, I will, if I have the keys, I will take them off. Brist, yeah. you take off the first one, then the next. A blind man. Yeah. yeah. Sitting next to a former priestess of Loth. She takes your head in her hands. And she says... Thank you. You don't know what... You can't know what I've been through. But you've done me the greatest service. I will make it up to you somehow. Well, uh, your, your brother did most of the work. He actually made it a lot easier. I don't care about him. I know that our um, relationship is somewhat changed, but perhaps you'd like to put these on? And you hear the jingling of the shackles, Trist. Baby, we're back, baby. <laughs> we're back in it. All right. <laughs> there we go. It fades to black, at least for the part for us viewing this. Trist, it's always black and darkness because he's blind, um, and, and he doesn't need a blindfold anymore. So there we go. All right, gets very uh, hot and spicy right then. And uh, with that very vivid image in our minds, uh, let's go ahead and take our first break. <laughs> <laughs> 